In this video, I'll take you through the steps required to integrate Watson Assistant with Slack using the new built-in integrations that are available with the latest release of Watson Assistant. To build out our scenario then, I've already logged into my IBM Cloud account and I've navigated to the Cloud Catalog. To create a new instance of Watson Assistant, then I'm going to navigate to the AI category on the left and click on Watson Assistant here. For the purposes of this video, I can just accept the defaults here and go ahead and create a new instance of Watson Assistant. And when our Watson Assistant instance has been created, we can go ahead and click on Launch Tool. When our workspace opens, the first thing we'll do is go to Skills and we'll go ahead and create a new skill for our bot. Um, we won't create a skill from scratch, instead we'll use a sample skill. So if I click on Use Sample Skill here, and we can use this customer care sample that comes with uh, any new instance of Watson Assistant. If we take a look at the customer care sample, then you'll see that we have some um, intents already defined for us to work with here. There are some entities for us to work with, and there's also a built out dialogue. Um, and that dialogue, if we take a quick look at it, you'll see um, is able to handle conversation around um, hours of operation for a particular store, directions to the store and so on. We can take a, a quick look at the um, dialogue in action then if we click the try it out pane and we can you know, give a quick greeting and then you know, where is your store oops store and we can get a, a response here from the um, from the trained um, skill. So having taken a look at this skill next thing that we'll do then is go back to our workspace and we'll go and create a new assistant. Um, so we click into the assistance tab here and click on create new and we'll give it a name and we'll call this our customer service Oops. assistant. Um, the description is optional. We won't use the preview link in this uh, demo so maybe we'll just uh, disable it here and we'll click on create to create our new assistant. Uh, once the assistant has been created we can go and add a dialog skill and we'll add the skill that we just created a moment ago so we'll click on add existing skill and we'll click on this customer care sample here. So with the skill now added to our assistant our next step then to configure Slack uh, integration is to click on this add integration button that's available here and you'll see that we have a list of managed or built-in integrations that are now available with Watson Assistant and we'll click on Slack uh, uh, the Slack option here. Okay, so you'll see that there's just um, four simple steps for us to complete to build out this Slack integration scenario with Watson Assistant. Um, we'll start by giving our Slack integration a name. Um, um, customer service integration. Uh, the description is optional, so we'll leave it as is. And let's start working through the uh, steps here. So the first step for us to complete then is just to create a Slack app if we don't have one already. And in this instance, I don't. So I'm going to use this link here to um, open Slack. And first thing I'll do is scroll down and click on create a Slack app and create new app here. I'll give the app a name. So I'll call it my customer see, service app. And I'm going to deploy it to my awesome sauce um, Slack workspace. And I'm going to click on Create App. Once our app has been created, we can go back and take a look at the instructions that follow. So this second step asks us to go to the Bot Users tab and add a Bot User. Um, and have the Bot User always show us online. And then click the Add Bot User button. So if we go back to um, Slack, we click on Bot Users. And we click on add a bot user here and we'll say always show online and we we'll click on the add bot user button here great um, if we go back to our Watson ins assistant instructions then we can move on to uh, step two so at step two um, we're going to connect our Watson Assistant to Slack. So we need to go to the basic information tab in Slack and get um, app credentials. And we're going to copy those details into the uh, fields that are available for us uh, here in Watson Assistant. So if I go back to Slack and if I scroll to basic information, tap here, and I scroll down, 
you know, app credentials, I'll get the detail that I need. So I think the first thing that I need here is the client ID. I copy that and paste that in here. Next, I need my client secret and the verification token. So the client secret, let's just show that. Copy it across and paste it in. And the verification token. So scroll down and down here and copy and paste. Next, we need to go to the OAuth and Permissions tab. Um, and we'll click on the Install App to Workspace and then click Authorize. So if I scroll up and I go to OAuth and Permissions, and from here I click on Install App to Workspace, and I click on this Authorize button. Next, let's go back to our instructions in Watson Assistant. So after we click on Authorize, we need to copy our OAuth access token and the bot user OAuth access token to the fields below. So the OAuth access token, let's go and grab that here. Let's get this guy copy. And I'll paste that in here. And then the bot user OAuth access token, bot user OAuth access token here, copy. And scroll back and paste in here. Great. Now we are in a position to move on to step three. Um, so with step three, we'll configure our Slack bot. Um, and what we need to do is go to the event subscriptions tab and go to the enable events uh, toggle and, and toggle that to on. So let's go and do that now. So enable events and toggle that to on per the instructions in Watson Assistant. If you scroll back, next we'll need to generate this request URL and we're going to paste that into our Slack app config. So if I go back here, I'm going to paste that in to the request URL um, in Slack. We're now in a position to move on to step four. If we scroll down here then, you'll see um, that this step is still concerned with event subscriptions. What we'll do is add a bot user event um, to allow our assistant respond to direct messages. So if we go back to Slack here um, and scroll down to the subscribe to bot event section, we can click on add bot user event. And if we scroll down here, we're looking for message.im, we select that guy. And then we go ahead and click on save changes. So once we've clicked on Save Changes, let's go back and have a look at the final step. It's an optional step um, in step four that allows us work with buttons and menus in our chat conversations in Slack. So to enable this, um, importantly, actually, we're going to use the request URL again here. So make sure I just have that copied. But we're going to go to the Interactive Components tab and click on Enable and then paste in our request URL. So I'm going to go back to Slack and then scroll up. I'm going to go to Interactive Components. Here we will toggle this to enable and we'll paste in the request URL that we just copied. And with that change made, we can go ahead and click on save changes. Okay, so at this point actually we're in a position to go ahead and test our integration from Watson Assistant to Slack. So to do that, um, what we'll need to do is go to our Slack workspace. And from our Slack workspace, you'll see that we now have this customer service app here. So if I click into that, I can have a conversation with the customer service app that's being supported by the Watson Assistant integration. So I can say hi there, as I did in the Try It Out panel in Watson Assistant earlier. And I get a response from the bot and I can say, um, where is your store? Oops, and even with a misspelling uh, of where is your store, you can see that I'm getting a response from, from Watson Assistant here. Um, so that's it. You'll see that um, you know working with Watson Assistant and Slack integration with the new um, built-in integrations that are available with Watson Assistant is, well, really easy. I um, hope you found this uh, short video useful. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.